welcome to Arduino Projects and today I will show you how to control speed and direction of a DC motor using potentiometer and a switch. In my case I am using a 50k potentiometer and a toggle switch. You can use a push button switch or any other potentiometer. And the components you will require are DC motor, motor driver, switch, I am using a toggle switch. You can use a push button, 10k resistor to connect the switch, potentiometer, I am using 50k Arduino, few jumpers and a 12 volt battery. And guys, first I will show you how to connect a DC motor to motor driver. The motor driver have two ports to connect two DC motors, out 1, out 2, out 3 and out 4. So first I will connect the DC motors to the output ports. And as you can see here, I have connected the DC motors to the output ports of the motor driver. And now I will show you how to connect the signal pins to Arduino. And as you can see here, there are four signal pins on the motor driver. And there are two pins which are shorted. I will just remove the caps of those pins. Using these pins, we will control the rotation of the DC motors. These are the unable pins A and A and E and B. And I will connect these pins to PWM pin of the Arduino. So let me show you how it's done. First I will connect the male female jumpers to motor driver. We will require six male female jumpers. And as you can see here I have connected six male female jumpers the signal pins of the motor driver. Now I will connect the motor driver to Arduino. The first pin of the motor driver, that's the unable pin, will go to pin number 6, which is the PWM pin. The second pin, which is in one pin, this pin will go to pin number 4. The third pin, the in 2 pin, will go to pin number 5. The fourth pin, in 3 pin, will go to pin number 8. The in 4 pin, the fifth pin, will go to pin number 9. And the last pin, which is the P unable pin, PWM pin, go to pin number 10. This is how you connect the motor driver to Arduino. And now I will show you how to connect the switch. So before connecting the switch, first I will make ground and this is common on the breadboard so that I can connect the switch easily. First I will use one wire for ground and I will make it common on the breadboard. Then plus 5 volt. I will make plus 5 volt common on the breadboard and now we will show you how to connect the switch so switch have 4 legs and I will be using only 2 legs one leg will directly go to plus 5 volt and I will connect resistor to another leg of the switch and I will connect ground to one leg of the resistor and I will connect signal pin the pin which is connected resistor and the leg of switch and this I will connect to pin number 11 of the Arduino 
if you are con confused you can just refer the circuit diagram which will be available in the description and now I will show you how to connect the potentiometer basically the potentiometer have three pins the first pin goes to ground the second pin goes to A0 pin of Arduino and the last pin will go to plus 5 volt now I will show you how to connect it I will take one wire from the 5 volt which I have made common on the breadboard and connect to the last pin of the potentiometer Similarly, I will connect one wire to ground which I have made common on the breadboard Connect it to the first pin of the uh, potentiometer And one wire from the middle pin of the potentiometer Will go to A0 pin of the Arduino And this is how you connect the potentiometer and to power the whole system I will be using a 12 volt battery so first I will make the 12 volt common on the breadboard so that I can connect the Arduino and motor driver easily first from the positive terminal of the battery I will connect one wire to motor driver and from the negative terminal of the battery to ground pin of the motor driver and similarly from the positive terminal of the battery I will connect one wire to V in pin of the Arduino and from the negative terminal of the battery one wire goes to the ground pin of the Arduino And as you can see here, motor driver and the Arduino gets powered up. And now let's upload the code and let's see how it works.